Hello everyone, welcome back from Top of the Wall. My name is Mason Up, and I have another daily video for 30 Days of Lands just for you. Just for you. don't tell anyone, or actually do tell people. I would like you to share that as much as possible. Just rub it around all over Twitter, Facebook, anywhere that fits. We are playing day 20? Like, this is day 20, right? Day 20 of 30 Days of Lands, counting down to the QCT tournament. That's not, that's... That's not quite right. Uh, the Quarterly Creators Tournament. Uh, it is a tournament for content creators to get together, make some content together, make some more videos, you know, give a little boost towards the community, give us uh, some more stuff to watch. And this one is a mono red lands deck. It is a mono red control deck. And what is happening in here is we're playing a bunch of payoffs for having big mana in red and some sweet land synergies. Now, this deck is using some of the best red cards that we have available to us in the format, and that includes Fiery Cannonade. So, because of Fiery Cannonade, all of our creatures are going to be able to dodge Fiery Cannonade, except for one, Underworld Rage Hound. Which, listen, it's fine. I'm attacking you. I'm going to keep attacking you. It's on a suicide mission. It was already ready to die. So... Listen, it's fine if this thing dies. <laughs> the most it's ever going to have is two toughness, probably. So if it dies, whatever, just keep going. Just keep rolling. Doesn't matter. Keep going. And we are going to be playing uh, some some cards in red that actually have synergies with lands that are actually pretty good. Now, Igni uh, Ignitious Flame, uh, <laughs> Igneous Elemental, a six mana creature that's a 4-3. But it costs two less if you've got land in your graveyard. Wow, look, we already want lands in our graveyard. This is perfect. And it shocks a creature, which is great. So it's removal and a 4-3. It's bigger than what our opponent is likely playing. And it actually shocks something and can kill something small. So it's great. It gets uh, some of their attackers out of the way. It might get a, a fairy out of the way or something. They actually need real removal for it. They can't just use uh, disfigure for it. We have our Spitfire... Lagak. I'll pretend like that's the correct pronunciation. Pronunciation. Uh, you play any of our lands, and then you get to ping your opponent. Which is great. And it's a 3-4, so it has some good toughness. It has some good offense. It's 4 mana. It, it, uh, I think that it passes the vanilla test pretty well, thanks to its landfall ability. And we're planning to make land drops every single turn. Sometimes multiples of them. And we have Evolving Wilds to go with that too, so... This thing is just going to keep getting us more and more value off of our lands and can help actually finish our opponent. So our opponent can die from us making land drops, which is great. The Scare Tiller is here, of course, with the usual Cave of Temptation package and Haunted Fengraft package, Evolving Wilds, to go with it. And Dwarf Mine is actually here, saying hello. Hey, Dwarf Mine, making a 1-1. One -one. I think Dwarf Mine is a good Edict Protection spell and, well... Not spell. Uh, good edict protection land, and it makes that one one, which is the one one is nice. Like it's one of the only lands that actually makes a creature without having to sacrifice itself. I think there are a couple lands that actually do that, and so this, considering what we are mono red, and we do have quite a few mountains and lands that fetch mountains, I think that this can actually be good for us. Um, I might end up cutting it. I think that the looks of it is pretty all right, especially with boiler works. Making multiple one ones can be can be pretty good now we do have another payoff uh for making our land drop searing blaze which is already good in mono red burn it's great for getting other people's early creatures out of the way so you can attack with lava runner but in our case we're planning to get some of their utility creatures or course guy fishers out of the way and dome them for three we're actually quite quite aggressive in here now we have the lightning bolts we have the faith of lootings we have pristine talisman to gain us some life and ramp us we have bonner's ornament I am questioning the goodness of the Pristine Talisman. I liked it in here uh, as some good life gain, as a good catch-up mechanic, because we are going big, we are a little slower. I think Fire Cannonade is already a great catch-up mechanic, and I think Lightning Bolt and Searing Blaze is already pretty good. So I might cut down on Pristine Talismans in exchange for more Bonders Ornaments or more Scare Tillers or something later. Uh, speaking of card advantage with Bonders Ornament, uh, Staunch Throne Guard is here to go with the Bonner's Ornaments. I like the Staunch Throne Guards and I like the Ornaments. I didn't want to give get too many Monarchy cards because sometimes Monarchy can be bad. 
And when it is, it's easier to uh, dump them away with Faith that's looting. Faith that's looting is great. Uh, stalking the graveyard for Rage Hound, Scare Tiller, Elemental, uh, helping us make our land drops potentially if we're uh, a little short on lands. And it can actually uh, refill our hand, get us more gas. And it has flashback to go really, really well with the Thermal Alchemist. The Thermal Alchemist is a good blocker in the early game. Dodges the Fiery Cannonade, of course. Pings our opponent. And we have a couple of great cards in the deck that actually synergize with it and untap it. We have 16 in total that go great with it. Now, last card in the deck, Rolling Thunder. Because who doesn't like tapping out for like 10 and just doming your opponent for 10 or just removing everything that they have on field? I think Rolling Thunder is perfectly good at doing that. To the sideboard, Relics for hating on graveyards, Shenanigans for hating on Affinity, and various Kadolfa decks. Pyroblast is great for hating on Blue. Uh, blue is kind of a rough matchup. Gorilla Shaman is great for also hating on Affinity, but much, much better. Electricery is very nice for hating on Elves, Tokens, Fairies, whatnot, all the small creatures. Molten Rain is great against Tron and any of the Flicker decks blowing up their bounce lands or blowing up the Tron piece that they desperately needed. Curse of the Pierced Heart is there to ping our opponent every single turn and slowly kill them and drain them out of the game. This is just in case uh, we expect the game to go really late. Finding one of these very early, playing it over the course of the game, this thing resolved, they don't do anything about it, get them for like nine damage for two mana? Over the long course of the game, they have a slowly ticking clock that they have to live with. Seems just fine. And with that said, I think we're good to get into a game. And there's somebody waiting for us. Hello! Our cab driver was waiting. How lucky for us. And I didn't want this. We'll say hi. Hi. Uh, yes. I'll play first. Now, this hand is... Keepable? Keepable? Keepable. I think I want mountain first. Because I might draw a string of mountains and then play <laughs> dwarf mine after. I have other land drops that I can make. I can still stop and play this on two. I don't want to use Faithless yet. Down to five cards. Oh, please say that you're on Stompy. Oh, please say that you're on Stompy. Hey, I see you on YouTube. Hi. <laughs> I see you here. <laughs> uh, I don't know who this person is, but I appreciate that they uh, they watch my content. I'm, I'm happy about that. We'll play the mountain. We'll pass the turn. Not at the moment. Oh, uh, Flare Husk. Sure. Oh, this is Affinity. Oh, I might have to double cannonade. I am recording, though. Okay, Spitfire. This doesn't tell me much about what kind of affinity. Uh, I think I might just want to do this. Rage Hound. Good luck, have fun. Oh, you stream. You do stream. Okay. Don't forget to check out this guy as he goes on stream. Um, I'll add him as a buddy so I can chat him later. Oh, this might be, um, what is this called? They ramped. I don't like that. Covenant Blast. Okay. That's fine that you use that. Frogmite. Okay. Cannonade is looking better. Uh huh. Untap stars. No! Uh, no. Okay. Well, I'm going to...
past the turn. I think I'm going to get hit for three. Yeah, I'm going to get hit for three, aren't I? Oh, don't. Oh, you just had it. You just, ah, uh, you just had it. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. With that. Oh, now I gotta find removal for this thing? Oh, Jesus. What am I gonna have to do? Thermal Alchemist. Oh, that's a... I wanna play Dwarf Mine. I think I'm just gonna wrath the board. God, that sucks that they had that. Um, if I had chosen not, if I had chosen just to play Dwarf Mine ahead of time, I could have cannonaded on time and killed both of the things. Now I think I just have to cannonade. I don't want to. I don't want to let them get onto their turn, uh, into their main phase, and then I have to wait for them to, to cast their first spell and then cannonade. So I'm just going to do it now. Because when they cast their first spell, it might be cheapened by these. And I'm at, by this. And I'm actually taking away mana by doing this. Okay. That's fine. I'm I'm hoping for Bolt. Bolt. I guess. Oh gosh. Let's see. Uh, Pyroblast is probably nice. Prophetic Prism, sure. Gorilla Shaman's good. Pyro, uh, Gorilla Shaman shenanigans. A couple Pyroblasts might be nice. Just to deal with these and uh, any of their blue spells. They have multiple targets for it. And if nothing else, I can hit a lovely... A lovely, um, what's it called? I can hit, uh, Thoughtcast. Thoughtcast, right. We could probably, okay. I got an idea. We'll Rage Hound next turn. That's what I should have done this turn. That was my bad for not doing that. Rage Hound asked for how many cards? Okay, three. So I had to buy block with this Thermal Alchemist. <laughs> Never mind. I don't have to block with a Thermal Alchemist anymore. What is this? Mirror Enforcer? Thought cast? Oh, they don't tap yet. Mirror Enforcer. Okay. That's rough. I need untapped source. That does save. Oh, uh, that does save me. That that saves me. We'll tap, tap, tap. Oh, thanks. Uh, we'll exile these. Done. I'm gonna ask them if your uh, username is the same on YouTube. Or Twitch. Okay, you may go to attacks if you like. Okay, then I'm a, I have them listed as buddy. This is fine. We'll go to blocks. We block here. Say okay. Bolt that head. Sweet. Oh, 
Oh, a dog. Hey, hey, guy. How you doing? That's great that you're here. I'm I'm ecstatic about that. Really. Oh, I have no lands in yard. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. No, no, no. Well, I guess I uh, I guess I have this. I guess it has to just like roll the dice here. Faithless. I don't think Throne Guard does it. Oh yeah, you don't do it. You don't save me. You don't save me. Uh <laughs> I could bolt the Atog for fun. That's what I could do. We'll we'll concede. Uh, GG. Little local local uh, Russian popper channel. Neat. I'm bringing in these. I'm. I'm gonna ruin his day. Excuse me. I have to just be awful. Excuse me. I'm gonna just. <laughs> I'm gonna be mean. Uh, I read it to pe multiple people that have known me today, and I'm gonna have to ruin their day. Unfortunately, Rolling Thunder, you're too big. Uh, a couple of things in here that are just not great. Fire cannons are kind of fine, I guess. Sun Throne Guard, I'm shaving one of you. I'm shaving. I guess the fiery cannonades. They're 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 one ones and two twos don't matter as much. Getting this out on time against them would be nice, but otherwise, you know, it's it's fine. It's not great. I already have other things that mop them up. Well, uh, I'm gonna keep these lightning bolts for sure. We'll. Probably check out the last monarchy creature. I'll keep the monarchy creature. I'll I'll go for this. Uh, I would like to play first. I have cards that do things, and that is nice. I don't know if this is a great hand though. I think I need to might need to mulligan down until I get something that actually does it because none of this is great against affinity yes yes like this is it this is what we wanted keep pristine talisman oh god and my fancy bolts i just i bought these as prizes for the tournament uh also i'm gonna invite this guy We'll play Falling Wilds. Pass the turn. Okay, you crack. I mean, you fetch. <laughs> I mean, I fetch. You play star. You don't crack the star yet. A little ambitious to be cracking stars. Mm-hmm. Because I could play Gorilla Shaman now, blow that up. He has Galvanic Blast at all in his hand. Um, quite annoying. We'll pass the turn like this. Okay, prophetic prism. All right, that's not a that's not too much of a worry. I will be blowing that up though. Well, okay. I'm gonna bolt that now. I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be cool. Gorilla Shaman. We're gonna do this now. Uh, I don't see any sense in waiting. Alright, if they don't blow this up, I think that might be game. Seventh of December.
do you want to play? It's free and has prize support. There you go. Uh, I think this is a good, I think this is a good, I think we should do this again. I'll get him the link. Whoop. Okay. This is still questionable. I, I'm very tempted once again, because I feel like this is, these are both meh against affinity, but this is eh against it. I think I have to mulligan. Oh, oh yeah. Look at all this action, right? Like this is, this is the thing that you should do, right? This is, oh no, this has gone bad. It's gone very bad. Uh-oh. I'm all gonna... Oh geez. Oh no. Uh, do I have to keep this? Oh God, I have to keep this. Oh, I have to keep it. This has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> this has gone so very wrong. We'll... Lightning Bolt. We'll get rid of Lightning Bolt. Oh, three cards on the bottom. Right. Um... Alright, done. Oh, God. Okay, land. Darn. Five, it's a five drop, the opposite of a land. The opposite of land, five drop. Okay, there's that, frog white. Okay, I have drawn my card. Here's the link for all the info. There you go. Um, <laughs> I, I passed the turn. You got me. Oh, Jesus. The double dark steel citadel. That was not going to go well for me. Oh, boy. I should have just I should have just kept my first opening hand. <laughs> I should have gotten greedy and <laughs> tried to mulk it down. For uh for Grilla Shalvin. Oh jeez. Uh I I tried to chase after the sun and I got burned. W what is the name of the guy that chased after the sun? I you know for Greek myth. Welcome. Alright. Flare husk. Okay. This is this is looking pretty bad still. Listen guys, we can still do this. We'll just need to draw one land. Uh mountain, please. Or literally any any land. Any land does it. 
bought the second haunted fan graph. As MTGO hears me say that, we get the second haunted fan graph. God, this deck did well for one second. I think Affinity might be a, a bad matchup that plays creatures that can go toe to toe with our creatures. Land. Land. We have it. We have land. Oh, hold on. Depper Red. Faithless. Ooh. Well, I'm going to get rid of shenanigans. We're going to get rid of uh, Staunch Throne Guard. Probably because I don't think we're quite in the position to use that. I have an Evolving Wilds. That's good. They haven't played any affinity, any big affinity creature yet. No mirror enforcers. Or cantrips. Uh, we might take this. I think I might take that, yeah. That might be better than Searing Blaze here. Um, we'll play Evolving Wilds. We'll pass the turn like this. Um, we can use Hydroblast if they try to cast a blue spell or something. Oh god, oh my skin is cracking. That is rough. Winter be rough. Bonner's ornament. Alright, well. Give myself a land. Okay. Searing Blaze. Well, now Searing Blaze is here. I think... Oh, God, I'm just going to go ahead and shenanigans. Uh, if they try to cast Se Gear Seeker Serpent, I have Hydroblast for it later. After it lands. That's the big thing that I'm worried about. Uh, right now, shenanigans this. Pass the turn. I can get rid of the Flare Husk. It just sucks that I'm stuck in this position. All right. I take it. Oh, green, uh, you play the guy? No. Tree of Tales. Okay, you do play the guy. I was worried about him. Oh, am I dead? Yeah, I think I'm dead. Uh, land. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Might still be dead. Uh, Pyroblast does not save me. This does not save me. All right. All right. GG. I made some mistakes with this. Oh, boy. <laughs> What have I done to myself? Oh god, I'm... Every time that I make a new deck, I always fumble around with it. It is not often that I make a brand new deck, and the first game that I play, I do well. But still, eh, fine. I, fine, I guess. I, I think that was a particularly not great matchup for us anyway. Just because of the number of 4-4s four that can attack safely into our 4 toughness creatures. Unlike normal. I also misplayed in the, the first matchup and didn't uh, use my Underworld Ragehound properly or use my fire, Fiery Cannonade properly on time. That was something that I should have done. Uh, if I will have to make some changes to this deck and I'll probably bring it back tomorrow. Or actually later tonight. I'm trying to catch back up and make sure that this is all finished on the 7th. So this will be back tonight i'll have two different versions i'll go one big one aggro and we'll split the difference because this wants to be more aggressive uh but this one 
really wants to be much, much bigger and much more controlling. Like this one wants to be more uh, controlling. It feels like some of these, like I could easily make an argument for self-assembler being in here somewhere. Like instead of this staunch thumb guard, I could just have self-assembler and a series of four fours pooling out of the deck instead of pristine talismans would be great. That'll do. That'll do for now. Uh, until next time, let me know what would make a great deck in the comments down below before I run out of ideas. That would be very helpful. And don't forget, uh, we have a word from our sponsors. Hey, do you want more MTG content? Great. I'm hosting a content creators tournament for just that reason. It's free, fun to watch, and gets a lot of content creators talking to each other about making more of it while making more of it. If you have a favorite content creator besides me that you want to see more content from, tell them to join the tournament for free prizes. And there is a link in the description down below that you can send to them with all of the details that they will need. It's completely free once again and will hopefully encourage a little bit more growth in our community. Thank you for watching. Let's get back into that content.